if shutting the gyms down has cramped your workout style and you're trying to get some workouts in at home, this video is going to tell you about seven pieces of gear that can help you get jacked and tan and ready for summer. Let's go. Howdy my wellness friends, this is AJ Webb, your SLV Health Wellness Coordinator, and I'm coming at you from my home gym, and today we're talking about home gyms. In particular, pieces of equipment that you can get at reasonable prices so that you can cover a variety of different exercise moves. I'm going to give you some demos and talk for about 20 to 30 seconds on each pieces of those gear. Before we get started, do me a solid, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it with your friends if you value this content, because that helps me out. Let's do this. The first piece of gear we're looking at is a jump rope. There's a lot of options out there. My favorite are the $10 weed whacker cord, simple plastic handles, just like that. But the other one I showed you there, it's got a bearing in the handle, real fancy. Jump ropes are great. It's a great cardio piece of equipment, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. That's the jump rope, and I like it. The next piece of gear is a sandbag. If you watch a step up video, I show a sandbag. Um, you can buy special ones with their own handles and their own weights. I just take some contractor bags, fill them with sand, and put them in this old duffel bag. So for about 15 bucks, I got myself a sandbag. These jump stretch bands are awesome. They're varying thickness, so you get varying resistance. All you gotta do is adjust your grip to make it a little bit harder, and you can do a lot of the classic gym pulley type exercises. So I just did a tricep push down. Here is a pull down. You can also get in some curls and you can do some band walks. And this is again for between 10 and 50 bucks. You can get into some resistance bands. Gymnastics rings come in a variety of materials. I have a pair of wood ones and I have a pair of plastic ones and they are great for pulling type exercises. Ring rows, I have them attached to a squat rig that I have but I've attached them to holes up in the attic and anywhere that's sturdy for a variety of different TRX uh, kind of exercise, even getting into some dips. Pretty tough exercise. That's gymnastics ring. Here is a three-sided box. Anything that you can step up on can be a great tool for getting yourself ready to do some hiking. You can also be dynamic. You can do some jumpy type uh, plyometric exercises. I like to use a box to squat to as a target to let me know that I am hitting my depth and you can also modify other exercises. The last thing is some flooring. Uh, I have concrete, stall mats, and wrestling mats in my home gym area. Find a surface that's gonna work for you that you're gonna be able to clean, and that will make it a little bit more comfortable for you depending on what you're doing. Yoga mats are a good go-to also. And the last thing is a no-brainer. I call this a no-brainer because I don't have to think about this Schwinn Airdyne from the late 70s. I can hop on and I can go at it. Low chance of getting hurt. Good workout. And again, I call it the no-brainer because I don't have to think about it. If you're trying to get your hands on some of these things, check the description below. Look for the links in there, which will take you to a blog write-up with some links that will take you to the Amazon store. So you can find those things right quick so you can order them, so you can use them in your home gym. I look forward to another video with you in the future. So please like, subscribe, share. Have a super day. Oh my god, he's a super, oh my god.